every other psychiatrist in this country has another doctor he can talk to, not me. Sydney. President, he used to be the, the loneliest job in the world. Now even he has someone to talk to. He can talk to me. I'm here. We can't even go to bed together. I'm talking my sleep and they'll arrest you. Honey, why don't you just quit? I can't. I know too much. They, they'd never let me get away. They would never let me get away. Well, you see, I'm paranoid. I am paranoid. I don't think you're paranoid. I think you have a firm grasp on reality. Listen, shh. Do you have any idea how badly the Russians and the Chinese and even the Cubans, for God's sake, want to get a hold of me? Sydney, you're scaring me. With what I know, they'll throw me in one of those brain laundries. Uh, uh, did you ever hear of Dr. Chen Yu and his electrodynamic process of thought reform? Two days. Two days with him, you'd have every thought in my head pouring out of those, those tape recordings. What? Everybody's after me. Sydney, this is me, Nan. They've got to get you some help. They must let you see a doctor. Help? No. <laughs> no, 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 you're absolutely right. I've simply and clinically been letting my fantasies carry me away. <laughs> no, I, I'm all right. Or am I? Hmm? Why don't I just simply and clinically find out? Ah! Oh, I'm shot! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I was right. I'm not paranoid. They're all spies.